Hey guys, welcome to Greg's RC Garage. Apparently a thing now. And I have a chocolate lab with me. Hello. And a kid. <laughs> Show them what you're running, Clark, man. I'm running the Doom Buggies. Clark's running Doom Buggies. I've got a whole project going on here. The last time we were out, I happened to have one of my wheels fall off my truck. And it was okay because the little bolt thing or whatever was on the end there. And my wheel, of course, was there. And I could easily put it on. And I did. The problem is that the differential in here is pooched like the things that actually turn the wheels three oh my gosh three of these work this one doesn't it just freely spins so i went on to amazon and i got my differential that i need i actually took this apart already just to see if i could access it and i was able to so it was okay so i got that and i got something extra here too that's really exciting a new body. i got a new body this is my old one and this is my new one i like the style of this one plus this one it's not just cosmetic this one got uh you know, we go through stuff pretty hard, as you've seen in our videos. Really rough on stuff, and I thought, you know, for $12, why not do a new body? So I got all of my parts here that I took off, and the part that I need to put on, and I think all I need is a small screwdriver, which I have here. This is like my RC toolkit. Very professional in a hefty Ziploc bag or whatever. I got all the stuff that I use to charge and do all the stuff that we do here. Man, this whole having a helper thing is not working out very well. What is going on here? He wants to watch. He wants to tell you. Later. I don't know how interesting it's going to be. I'm probably just going to film like little bits of this, I suppose, to show you how I'm making out. But first things first, I got to take this back apart, which all the screws are already out, as you can see there. And yeah, we're going to we're gonna get a differential in this. I guess first things first, I'll show you what a differential looks like. I'm sitting down right here. I'm excited. Okay. Do you want to be in the background? Uh -huh. There you go. I'm just going to chill here and pick that up That's fine for me. Okay. This, can we just... Uh, I don't have any knife or anything with me. This is like, this we're just gonna open up like that. Mm -hmm. And inside here. Oh, that's what it looks like? Yeah, that's our little differential inside there. That's the thing that makes my wheel spin that was not doing its job, unfortunately. So I went from four wheel drive to three wheel drive because of not having this, or I have it. It just, uh, it just doesn't work. Hopefully this fixes it. Your truck is haunted, Clark, man. Yeah. It's making all kinds of noises. He's like, please run me. Get my little screwdriver out of my toolkit here. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. You let her be there. You got plenty of room to make it around. There, poor rocks. She puts up with a lot. Anyways, there is my little screwdriver. I think I got with something that I ordered at one point. Hey, you're scaring Roxy. How did I do this the other day? It was really slick the way that I put, took this all apart. I just gotta do it again. Oh, I'm already kind of there. You can see it. The differential is literally right there. Easy as that. So we can just take this old one out as these rods fall apart. And you can see the old one versus the new one here. Do a little comparison for you guys. I'm hoping this is the problem. I think it just kind of just got pooched. And I should have taken note as to how that was in there. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the footage to see how I had that. <laughs> I just went back and looked and the gears are on the left side. You can see inside there that there's all kinds of stuff that are that's supposed to be sitting in here. I don't know how well you can see it because I'm doing my best to film this, but I'm just going to pop that in there like that. It should line up with everything pretty well. Let me get in there so you can see it. Can you see in there, Clark, man? Yeah, I can see. It's, man, it's tough to see, especially in these conditions. Oh, like, I can see the gears. Yeah, that's the new one that I put in there and I'm hoping that that works. I remember undoing these screws down here because I wanted to get better access to inside that. I think I found the other differentials are in there. Right? Yeah, that's the old one there. That's That one's pooched. It's all kinds of greasy. It probably, this truck probably drove through pizza. It drove through a lot, but I don't know if it drove through pizza yet. <laughs> it's on my list though. There's a better look inside there and all the stuff that's going on. Yeah, lots of metal shavings and dirt and all that stuff. I should probably clean this, but I'm not that concerned about it. I just want to get this thing back to running again so we can go take it off some jumps and ruin this new body that I bought. No, it's not ruin it. And it's going to happen eventually. Let's make sure all of these things are lined up in here real nice. It won't turn into a parts truck. It may end up being a parts truck eventually, but I think we're okay there. Is it inside yet? We're getting there. I'll put these rods back in if I can. Trying to film this is not the easiest thing to do by any means. I can assure you that. My fingers look dirty. 
Yeah, they're going to be. What I love about this truck, and I'll show you, hopefully, by the time this video is over, is that anything bad that happens to it, I have a manual that has all the part numbers and all the stuff inside there. So all I have to do is just look inside that manual and it tells me, okay, the thing that I broke is probably this. And to fix it, all I have to do is this, 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 and this. Speaking of fixing things, this right here. Yeah, a new bumper. Yeah, that's my old bumper. And uh, I think, I forget how that's supposed to go. Somehow, when I put this on last time or whatever, it wasn't in properly, but I think we can fix that now. Do everything kind of backwards is the way that I did it before. Apologize for all the loud cars going by too. Yeah, if you can't hear us. I hope you can hear me. Oh boy, hope they can hear Clark. What would you say if, if you wanted them to hear you? What would you want them to, to hear? I would want them to hear my voice. What, do you have a message or something you want to say? You're not even saying anything. Jeez, jeez. I'm being quiet. That's a first. That is a first. Oh. Try to understand me what I'm trying to say. What were you trying to say? I was trying to, I was saying, um, trying to say, Dad, fix that differential. Yeah, I was saying that because that's nice and tight in there. <laughs> whoa, 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 everything stay together. You all stay together. You must not fall apart, the French old. No, you must not fall apart again. That's that. And we just got to put a bunch of screws back together now. These are all the screws I took out of this. It's just going to be the challenge of putting them back where they belong. Mm -hmm. I guess as long as I have most of them in there and this thing holds together, we mm -hmm. should be okay. Mm -hmm. You're just loving that new body, aren't you? Yeah, I just love it so much. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let's get as much footage of this as we can while it's still looking really nice. It'll be the first and last time you see it without any kind of scrapes and scratches on it. Yeah, it might happen. It's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. I guarantee. All right, all of our screws. I think there were long screws that was holding this body together. So there should be like six of those, which there are. I'm gonna start putting these screws in like this. Hold the truck together. We got all of the wires up here for the battery that we're gonna need out of here. Cause that's kind of important, right? Mm -hmm. Should I cut out this boring part of me putting all these screws in here, Clark, man? Yeah, she cut it out. I think so. I don't think anyone wants to see that. You guys want to see this thing running. I do want to show something here. For those of you that are like, Greg, you should probably run it and tr test it out before you put it all back together. I think it's going to work because if you look at this here, see how I'm turning this with my right hand? It's turning both those wheels. So that differential is now working again. <gasps> yeah. So yeah, I think we're going to be good. And you can kind of see it working in there as well. So yeah, we might have four wheel drive again, Clark, man. Yeah, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> still more screws to put in though. I still got to do that. If you guys are wondering, I just got the four or six screws put in there. I've got four more to put in here. It's kind of fun working on RC trucks, huh? Mm -hmm. It's almost something you have to know too, because they're going to get broken yeah, no matter what. Even if you don't run them as hard as we do, your truck's always going to have some issues. Mm -hmm. I would imagine my differential probably went out because I was going a little crazy with yeah. doing donuts and stuff like that. Yeah, it probably doesn't like doing donuts. I don't think it likes how hard we are on it. Yeah, am I, am I trying to do donuts out there too? Were you? Yeah, I was trying to do a donut. Great, now I have to place another differential. In mine? Just, just kidding. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Your mm -hmm. truck is... We haven't had any issues with Clark's truck at all. Yeah, no issues. His has run like a champion this entire yeah, time. Yeah, like jumping like Your, your crazy. dune buggy. It helps to have a tire on the back of it too. Yeah, it's super useful. When it flips over, that tire really helps. Yeah, that tire, it'll never have damage on mine. Your your body's probably going to be pretty safe. Mine, on the other hand, when this, when this flips over, it's just skating on the ground. Yeah, like, like, like I, on ice, like you're skating. Yeah. Top part is done. Now we flip it over and this is, oh my gosh, this is easier than I thought it was gonna be. Take these screws, put them in here. And boom, it'll be back running. Heck yeah, man. No, it turned into a parts truck. Nope, didn't have to turn into a parts truck. It came close though, didn't it? Yeah, really close. I mean, financially, if I have to do any more repairs to this, it might make more sense for me to make this a parts truck, but for now, it's okay. Yeah. And I fixed the thing on this that was a problem, Clark. Oh. My bumper wasn't in properly before, and now it is. Oh, now it's 
Look at the skid plates though. Look at that. You, you can tell this thing has seen some things. Yeah, but- Especially that front bumper right there. Yikes, they should make that metal. Yeah, and that right there, yep. same thing happened. Yep, it's, it's pretty pooched. Yeah. I could yeah. probably use a new front bumper, to be yeah. honest with you. But yeah. I don't want to put any money into this if I don't have to. But you already have a bumper, though. Yeah, and it works okay. It's just, uh, it's a little bumped in and a little dinged up, but it does its job. Oh, sweet. Wait, it, this body has no thing on. <laughs> oh, it's my bougie. Oh, don't get attached to it, because it's going to be... It's gonna live a, probably a short life. Our old one's about, well, almost a year old, I guess. Yeah, it's like really old. I wish we could run on the spring for um, some water, Dad. It would be cool to run the spring I imagine water. we probably will. Yeah. Ooh, that look at these some finish line flags. Yeah. That's me going across the finish line first when we're racing. Cause I'm gonna beat you. No, you won't. I'll scratch up your body and you, I'll land on top of you. How dare you, sir? If I jump. How dare you? You'll Watch this whole thing come apart when I take it to the park. It'll just be like, <laughs> falls apart. Hopefully it doesn't happen up here. Oh, that would be the next thing, huh? Yeah. Should I just replace them both while I was here? Yeah. I don't know if the front has the same situation on it. But wow. Somehow it all works. And Dad, look at this. The front works fine because I like this earth. Yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? Yeah, like it goes back and forth, back and forth. I think we're all fixed up there. Now, what we need next, what do you think it's missing right now? It's missing a body. No. What else is it missing? It's if miss you If you looked at this and you were thinking, if I'm going to run this, what's it missing? It's missing a battery. No. Well, yes. What else is it missing? Something really important to make a car go. A wheel. Yeah, it's missing the wheel. Ding, ding, ding. And I ordered new wheels too. I forgot to show that to you guys. I ordered new wheels, but they're so tiny. They're so small. They would fit on here. But, and I only ordered two. I, it said pack of two and I was like, oh, maybe I get two packs of these. No, or two pieces, I think it said. So I'm gonna return these. This is for like, a, I think a much smaller truck. You can maybe, see the size. You know what, Clark, man? This would fit onto your dune buggy pretty well. Let's take a look here and see the size comparison. Yeah, that's more the scale of your dune buggy than it is for my truck. But yeah, we'll go with the old tires. I just felt like they're getting a little worn down and such, but that's just a cosmetic thing. It doesn't stop me from driving it. So this is real easy. You just take this off. Can't stop me now. All right, so we're gonna take that, put it through there. And then I have a special tool for this. It's this little guy right here. It's like a little tire iron. And this is something I should be doing often. Oop, help if I had the thing on there. I should be getting in here quite a bit and tightening these down, which is why that part came off. Not cool. Get you guys in there nice and close so you can see the action as I tighten that down. And that one's tight. And I think I tightened up all the rest of them too while I was at it, just because I'm not really down with my tires flying off. But we got, we got that and it's looking good. Do you want to do the honors, Clark? Yes. Actually, we got to get the battery. Yeah. It'd be helpful if I got, I have that charging inside because I want to want to race this thing today. And we got that too. So let's go get the battery and then we'll, we'll do the, the part that you've all been waiting for. I don't think it's fully charged, but it's enough to get us a run in. Alrighty. So this is what these things take. And if you're wondering, this is a Hoseem or Hasim truck. This is a 7.4 volt, 1600 milliamp LiPo battery. You just take this off of here and you take that mm -hmm. and you put it in there, Lark Brax. Can you guys see that? And there's a truck coming on the way, guys. The hardest part is trying to find a place to put all the, the wire stuff, but it kind of just works its way in there like that. We'll get that out of the way. Bigfoot's on his way. Spoilers. We got a special truck coming our way. You guys are going to be freaking, I think, hopefully, as stoked about as we are. I am like really excited about our next RC adventure, which is going to involve a certain character from Monster, Monster Jam or whatever. Monster. Why can't I get this to sit in here properly anymore? And my truck will be doomed by the truck. Probably. Yeah, maybe do. This thing does not want to sit here. Come on. There, we got it. There it is. Okay, Clark, Ooh. now's the moment. Get this out of the way. It's ruining my shot. Oh. Should line up okay in there. You want me to help? See my bumper? My bumper's a little bumped in. I think my bumper's supposed to be like out here like this. So that goes there, that goes there. That looks sweet. I think it does, yeah. Let me get some fresh pins for this bad boy from my parts.
thing here. Oh, there they are. Okay, we got we got pins. Hey, I've got an extra one of these too when I ordered these on Amazon. That was the one thing that broke on this truck was it's the thing that holds these on. The back one just got demolished. And I lose pins in this all the time, so we'll see how this goes. But uh, we got two pins in the front. Oh, can you go grab the controller for this guy quick, man? We're gonna do a test here. Should be, oh, it's right over there on that shelf, right behind you there. Might as well turn it on here too while we're at it. It's right there on that shelf. Flip it around here and we got a pin right there and we've got a pin right there and voila, we got ourselves basically a brand new truck. I mean, cosmetically a brand new truck. A lot, of, a lot of things are worn and beat on it. And we no longer have to use this broken differential, which I don't know. I don't think that's supposed to spin so freely like that. But yeah, there we go. Let's uh, give it a shot here. Turn, turn them on. And look at that, Clark, man. Whoa, sorry, Roxy Bear. Let's flip it over. I want to try it. Give it some juice, Clark, man. Yikes, took my hand off. You can see all the wheels are spinning. Differential is fixed. Go ahead and give it a run, Clarky. Oh my gosh. We're back in business. Back in business. Just don't take it out in the road. Oh my God. Don't flip it either. That's a brand new body. Oh, that had to hurt. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh my gosh. That was a RC suicide right there. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, that just got me hard. Usually that's me that's getting hit. There you go, guys. There's my brand new Fancy Pants RC truck. And Clark's truck. And that little junker right there. Hey! I'm kidding. Hope you guys enjoyed Greg's RC garage or whatever we're calling this. I had fun fixing it and it was fun bringing you along with me on that. And it's also fun having a fully functional RC truck. At least for now. Until it goes down the road and gets run over. Oh, God. my body bro jeez jeez we're gonna take us out to the skate park though yeah right now